Let's do a quick summary of what GPT-3 is. Basically, this is a machine learning model produced by OpenAI, sponsored by Elon Musk, who pushed in millions of dollars into this project. You've probably seen a couple of examples of the use cases for GPT-3. I'd like to provide you with a few examples that we at DataAlliance.io used to for our clients to satisfy some sort of problem in the business scenario. We're going to start off with a cover letter generator. In short, we don't see this to be a new kind of problem, but in simple terms, if you're a university student and you have a lot of different job applications that you want to go through and you still want to write a decent cover letter for some sort of job that you're interested in, it could be nice to get a sort of general skeleton framework or template for what should you write and how should you write it. This is where we at DataAlliance.io and the GPT-3 model basically gave the client a pretty good estimation of what they should have included. And let me show you how it exactly was done. So this is what we're working with. Basically to the right here we got our script that has imported the OpenAI API. We have our API key. We have import text so basically where we're going to import as our input for the model then we have the model where we have the da vinci engine which is basically the more sophisticated one from openai currently we have how many tokens we want basically what the output is, how big it should it be then we got temperature that is 0 0.9 which is basically a number between 0 and 1 that determines how many creative risks then it should take and generate text so basically this is the number that you play around with to find the best camera results um, we move on to frequency penalty, which is basically how much the model should make to make an effort if not repeating itself. And then the final one, presence penalty, is basically how the model will make a, make a better effort of talking about new topics. Yeah, and pretty much that. We export it as text here and then we print it out in our terminal. So next step is basically to form a prompt where we have input for the data and then we have the output that should go out from it. Here, this depends on how much you want to help out the model to get this desired output. Sometimes you can just use input over here and then you have output as blank and it will generate some sort of output based on that. Otherwise, you can also give it like input output, then you can give another one of these examples, input output, and continue on like that to give it a few different ones. So for example, you could give one example for if you were supposed to do a cover letter for a management consulting cover letter, one for a uh, investment banking cover letter, and then finally one for data scientist cover letter. So that was basically what we did before. We had an input for management consulting, then output, then we took the output to be a copy paste from some random cover letter example on Google. Then for the second one we used for investment banking, then we had the output for that investment banking one to be some other investment banking cover letter we found on Google. And the third one was basically generate a cover letter for applying to a data scientist role at Google. And then we had output to be blank. Then you basically run this in the terminal. So we run this like python.gpg.py. And then after a little while, it will generate the text. Now let's head over to Notion. Here in Notion, you will find the link to this uh, Notion page down in the description. Basically here we go down to the cover letter generator and here you can find some information. Basically here we have the input generate a cover letter for data science position at Google and the output became the following. And if you want to once again read this, go to the link in the description and read through it. But basically it gives one hell of a cover letter. We don't know yet if the student used this to actually get a job in the aftermatch, but from what we experienced, at least from his review, he gave us pretty good feedback that this was kind of incredible to have as a kind of initial template for his final cover letter. So we're happy that he's happy and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as well and I'll see you the next time. Cheers!